Oh, hey, it's Dustin from Coyote Ridge Homestead. Fancy meeting you here. We're gonna go through some stuff to get your garden prepped for spring. We're gonna check the pH balance. We're gonna spread some ash. Now, fertilizer, I use magic beans. So it's, it's high in potassium, high in nitrogen, and it's rich in phosphorus. Uh, so the cool thing about magic beans or the alpaca poop is it's rich soil conditioner, it's ready to use, and you can spread directly on. So you can go out in your pasture if you have alpacas or llamas or go to your nearest alpaca farm, buy some, you can get it for, you know, maybe 15 bucks or whatever they're selling for 40 pounds. Um, it's eco-friendly and it's really a good balance for your soil. So what you do is you're gonna spread the ash. I've already spread some, I had this area I needed more. Um, and then I'm gonna get the kids out here soon and we're gonna fill up the alpaca poop into our feed bags that are, you know, designated for this. Okay. The goats think we're gonna feed them again. Do you guys wanna tell everyone what we're doing? Alpaca poop. Alpaca poop? Alpaca How come? Because we need it for our garden. Right. Oh. All right. You go ahead and let the gate open, and I won't let them get out, all right? We got Dad behind us, too, so just go in. Oh. Just push through. Just push through. <laughs> they think it's food for them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Not this time. The great thing about magic beans and alpaca poo is that they poop in one spot. So it makes for really easy collection. What's green bean think of all this? He's behind me. All right. Oh, hey. So. We're gonna put alpaca beans, call it magic beans, straight from our alpaca field. So just do that. Just get it right, spread it out. I don't know how. <laughs> Take it. You can just rock your shovel. It doesn't have to have full coverage. The coolest part about this, alpaca poop doesn't stink like horse poop or cow poop. That makes it a lot easier to work with. And you don't need a lot. Just enough for a good coverage. Plus, the tiller's gonna move a lot of this around, but we wanna have equal coverage all over the place. And basically, cover it with landscaping cloth. And so go from there to about right here because I want to use this as a working area. And we'll cover it and we'll leave it there for a week. Um, and then after a week, when we get nice rains and everything else, we'll pull the cover, roll it back, and we'll till it. Um, and after that till, well, that's the next step. And going to that port, port is uh, putting the cover back on and securing the cover down and cutting your holes for planting your plants.